So first things first is we'll press N to open the end panel and we're already under the box cutter tab so we have our help displayed. If I click and drag on the surface, since I'm underneath cut, we are in the cut operation and we see that there's a hotkey listed on the side for B to begin beveling. So if I press B, I can bevel where by moving the width in and out, I'm able to adjust the segment count to go from one segment to six segments, just allowing me to quickly get something a little more rounded if needed. Another thing about the bevel is we see that there's a hotkey of Q where basically if we press Q, we bring in something called the Q bevel. I'm gonna press tab in order to pause the shape and we see that we have a little bit of a visual overlap, which can easily be resolved by pressing D to bring up the helper and just by increasing the main bevel just to make it fit. And from here, we can then adjust the amount of width that's happening with our secondary bevel. We can also adjust the amount of segments, which I like clicking the quick one or six to go all the way from the max to the minimum. And we also have an option to enable clamp overlap just in the event that you want to exceed the amount of clamp that's allowed, which in this case is actually giving us negative results, but there sometimes are cases in which you may want the clamp overlap to be off. But just like that, that's how you would normally get inside of box cutter and begin using the bevel and Q bevel system. Another thing to note is that once you've activated Q bevel on your subsequent draw, if you press B, you already have Q bevel enabled. So we're just clicking and dragging and just pressing B and it just brings us back to Q bevel in which we could just press B, tab, go back inside the helper and we can just turn off the Q bevel which sets us back to normal. And from here, notice that whenever I click and drag to create the bevel and press B, that now we're no longer getting the Q bevel being interjected. So just like that, you can have it as something that toggles off and on. In addition to the previous aspects we discussed, there's also reverse bevel. So if we draw a box, we can extrude, we could press B to bevel, we could press Q in order to Q bevel. And from here, we could also press Shift F to basically flip the shape and give us a reverse bevel. Alternatively, you could also do this from the helper. To show that in action, let's just draw a shape. We'll press B, tab, go inside the helper, just ensure that we're over the limit. And by clicking this button, we can flip our shape and basically ensure that we give ourselves a reverse bevel. Notice that it's the opposite of a Q bevel where instead of beveling the interior face, we're now beveling the exterior face. So that brings us finally to this latest feature. Previously, we talked about how you can draw a shape and just press B in order to jump into bevel. However, by going to the helper and clicking on the bevel icon, you can also activate bevel as a start state. This means that every time we draw a shape, it will automatically be beveled on every subsequent drawing. If we press Alt V E, we can make our shape a little bit more distinctive in the viewport so we can see what we're cutting. The next icon on bevel is the bevel front face. By activating this, it means that on every subsequent drawing, we'll be giving every shape a Q bevel. So now we see that instead of having to press hotkeys, we can just draw and it will just automatically add these Q bevels on the inside, which look very nice. The next icon is for the front face or the reverse bevel. So by clicking on that, it means that every shape we draw will have a reverse bevel. However, at this point, you do want to pause it, press D, and go inside the helper and adjust the amount of width, meaning that on your subsequent drawings, you will now have that width take place on your object. So just like that, you're able to jump in and quickly reverse bevel and Q bevel and just standard bevel without having to even press any hotkeys during drawing just by going into the helper and activating them as start states.